in our sky is this one, Betelgeuse or Betelgeuse. It's a red giant star. If you put it where the sun is, it will extend out to the orbit of Jupiter. It's enormous. It's very unstable. It's about to explode. Get ready for a cosmic event like we have never seen before. The red giant star Betelgeuse at the edge of our galaxy is emitting dangerous signals into space. Using the James Webb Space Telescope, astronomers have discovered something very disturbing about this giant star. Renowned scientist Brian Cox has issued a serious warning. The pressing question is whether we are on the verge of witnessing a supernova explosion so massive that it will permanently change our night sky. Before you know about this cosmic event in detail in this video, subscribe to the Cosmic Discovery Channel. Let's get straight to it. In the vast universe, stars are born, live and die in fascinating ways. Recently, one star has captured the attention and concern of astronomers and the public alike, Betelgeuse, a red supergiant in the constellation Orion. This star is both enormous and ancient. Betelgeuse's distinctive red hue and fluctuating brightness have always been intriguing, but recent developments have heightened interest in this celestial giant. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of Betelgeuse, we may be on the brink of witnessing a monumental event in its life. But what do these changes mean? Could we be on the verge of observing a cosmic spectacle of unimaginable proportions? Betelgeuse is a colossal star, about 764 times larger than our Sun. Its size is truly mind-boggling. To give you an idea, if Betelgeuse replaced our Sun, its surface would extend beyond Mars's orbit, enveloping Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars. This immense size not only highlights Betelgeuse's physical grandeur, but also indicates the stage it is in its life cycle. As a red supergiant, Betelgeuse is approaching the end of its life. During this phase, it expands and cools, a process that follows the conversion of hydrogen into helium in its core. How old is Betelgeuse? This star is estimated to be between 8 and 8.5 million years old, which is relatively young in human terms, but quite ancient for a star. Over millions of years, Betelgeuse has undergone significant changes, transforming from a hot blue star into the red giant we see today. It is now in its final stage as a red supergiant. Stars like Betelgeuse evolve throughout their lifetimes due to the constant interplay of nuclear fusion and gravitational forces. Another distinctive feature of Betelgeuse at this stage is its unique reddish hue. This red color results from its cooler surface temperature compared to other stars like our Sun. While the Sun's surface is around 5,500 Kelvin, Betelgeuse's surface is cooler at about 3,500 Kelvin. This lower temperature allows Betelgeuse to emit light at wavelengths that appear red. However, this color is more than just a visual trait. It provides insights into the star's physical condition and the processes occurring within its vast gaseous expanse. Betelgeuse's shifting color throughout history adds an extra layer of intrigue to its story. Accounts from ancient Roman and Chinese texts suggest that around 2,000 years ago, Betelgeuse appeared yellow. However, by the 9th century, Arabic astronomers noted its red hue. This historical shift in color isn't just a footnote in scientific records. It reflects the star's evolutionary journey over millennia. Another fascinating aspect of Betelgeuse is its variability in brightness over time. Classified as a semi-regular variable star, Betelgeuse experiences periodic fluctuations in its brightness, with peaks and troughs occurring in a somewhat predictable manner. For centuries, the mesmerizing dance of Betelgeuse's brightness has captivated both scientists and stargazers alike. Typically, Betelgeuse follows a 400-day cycle along with a longer five-year cycle. Accounts of these cycles date back to as early as 1836, when Sir John Herschel documented them, and they may even have roots in Aboriginal oral histories that reach back further in time. 
Yet, what truly adds to Betelgeuse's enigma is not just the way its brightness fluctuates, but the irregularity of these changes. Unlike many stars that exhibit a predictable dimming and brightening pattern, Betelgeuse occasionally strays from this expected behavior. This irregularity hints at complex and less understood processes unfolding within its massive structure. In a surprising turn of events, astronomers and sky watchers around the globe were astonished by a dramatic and unexpected transformation in Betelgeuse's appearance. Dubbed the Great Dimming, this phenomenon unfolded in late 2019, affecting the red supergiant Betelgeuse, a prominent celestial figure in the Orion constellation and one of the brightest stars visible at night. Betelgeuse's luminosity began to fade in a perplexing manner, catching the attention of observers. Its brightness decreased at an average rate of 0.01 magnitudes per day, leading to a noticeable dimming by February 2020. Even in areas with significant light pollution, where Betelgeuse is typically visible to the naked eye, the star grew considerably fainter, prompting casual viewers to take notice of the striking difference. Betelgeuse's behavior presents a unique challenge due to the time paradox it introduces. Light from distant stars like Betelgeuse takes a considerable amount of time to reach us, complicating our ability to observe them in real time. When we gaze at Betelgeuse, we're not seeing it as it exists in the present moment, but rather as it appeared in the past. Given that Betelgeuse is roughly 725 light years away, the light we perceive today departed from the star almost seven centuries ago. This time delay makes it difficult to anticipate and monitor sudden changes in the star's behavior. The recent dimming of Betelgeuse served as a stark reminder of the challenges inherent in observing celestial phenomena in real time. It underscored the limited understanding we have of the vast and mysterious realms of space and time. Andrea Dupree, Deputy Director of the Center for Astrophysics at Harvard and Smithsonian, and her team embarked on a three-year study to closely monitor Betelgeuse's celestial drama, aiming to track changes occurring in its outer atmosphere. Using the Hubble Space Telescope, scientists gained valuable insights into the inner workings of variable stars like Betelgeuse, these stars regularly expand and contract, leading to fluctuations in their brightness. By observing Betelgeuse with Hubble, researchers peered into the layers above the star's surface, which are influenced by the swirling convection cells generated by the star's internal processes. Hubble's ability to detect ultraviolet light proved instrumental in this endeavor. Further analysis of the Hubble spectra collected at various points in 2019 and 2020, shed light on the dynamics of Betelgeuse's upper atmosphere. The spectra primarily consisted of magnesium-2 lines, which offer crucial information about the composition and behavior of the star's atmosphere. This comprehensive study provided a deeper understanding of the mechanisms driving Betelgeuse's variability. The research revealed that material was streaming from Betelgeuse's surface into its atmosphere at a staggering speed of around 200,000 miles per hour. This intense, dense material eventually dispersed millions of miles away from the star, forming a dust cloud that contributed to its diminished brightness over a period of three months. Andrea Dupre and her team observed that approximately twice the usual amount of material was expelled from Betelgeuse's southern hemisphere during this event. While it's common for stars to lose mass over time, Betelgeuse's mass loss was particularly noteworthy due to its rapid pace, far exceeding that of our Sun. This accelerated shedding of material was a significant factor in Betelgeuse's observed changes and captured the attention of astronomers worldwide. Astronomers have pondered whether the significant mass release observed in Betelgeuse, coupled with its subsequent dimming, could be indicative of an impending supernova explosion. This speculation is fueled by the sheer scale of the mass expulsion 
and the notable decrease in brightness following the event. Adding to the intrigue is Betelgeuse's relatively close proximity to Earth, at just 725 light-years away. If a supernova were to occur, it would be visible from Earth, offering a rare opportunity for observers to witness such a cosmic event up close. However, amidst the speculation, a fundamental question remains. What implications does this dimming event hold for Betelgeuse's future? Is it a harbinger of an imminent supernova, or simply a singular occurrence in the star's intricate and lengthy lifespan? The answer to this question continues to elude astronomers, highlighting the complexities of understanding the evolution and behavior of celestial bodies like Betelgeuse. Several theories have been proposed to explain the rapid change observed in Betelgeuse. One widely discussed hypothesis suggests that it might signify a stage in the process leading to a supernova explosion. This idea gained traction due to the prevailing belief that Betelgeuse is nearing the end of its lifespan. Another prevalent theory suggests that dust, possibly originating from the star itself, could be obstructing our view. It's known that Betelgeuse and similar red supergiants shed material over time, and this material could accumulate to form a dense dust cloud capable of obscuring the star's light. A third theory examines potential fluctuations in the star's photosphere, the outer visible layer. Changes in this layer could influence the star's apparent brightness and contribute to the observed dimming phenomenon. These proposed explanations underscore the ongoing efforts to unravel the mysteries surrounding Betelgeuse's behavior and its implications for its future. The mystery surrounding Betelgeuse's sudden dimming was unraveled through a comprehensive approach involving various observational methods and detailed analysis. Spectroscopic studies played a crucial role in this process, revealing a significant decrease in Betelgeuse's effective temperature. This drop in temperature hinted at the presence of a large dark spot on the star's surface, potentially causing the observed dimming. The evidence supporting this idea was compelling as Betelgeuse's temperature plummeted by at least 170 Kelvin during the dimming episode, indicating substantial changes occurring on the star's surface. Ultimately, it was the Hubble Space Telescope, humanity's vigilant eye in space, that provided the insights needed to understand this perplexing event. Hubble's observations provided valuable insights into the dimming of Betelgeuse, suggesting that it was likely caused by a significant ejection of hot matter into space. This material formed a dense cloud of dust, obscuring portions of the star's surface and reducing the amount of light reaching Earth. The dust cloud was believed to consist of extremely hot plasma originating from a large convection cell on Betelgeuse's surface. As this plasma traversed through the star's hot atmosphere to cooler outer layers, it cooled and condensed into dust grains, ultimately forming the cloud that obstructed light from approximately a quarter of the star's surface. This explanation shed light on the mechanics behind Betelgeuse's intriguing dimming event. Hubble's exploration into Betelgeuse's secrets, starting back in January 2019, has been a game-changer in unraveling the mystery behind its sudden dimming. By peering into the star's ultraviolet light and dissecting its spectra, scientists got a sneak peek into the events unfolding within. What they found was intriguing. Dense, scorching matter swirling through Betelgeuse's atmosphere like a cosmic ballet. But the plot thickened as months went by. Ground-based telescopes joined the investigation and in December 2019, they witnessed something extraordinary. Betelgeuse, especially its southern region, was losing its luminosity, dimming like a fading star in the night sky. What was once a radiant glow now turned into a somber shade, as if a dark cloud had enveloped its brilliance. The unfolding drama painted a vivid picture. The material initially shimmered brighter than the star itself, but as it journeyed outward, 
it cooled and transformed into a shadowy veil, casting a mysterious cloak over Betelgeuse's once bright face. It's a cosmic tale that's not just rewriting the script of celestial events, but captivating our imaginations with its stellar twists and turns. The notion here is that this massive outpouring of material, along with the resulting dark cloud, was the culprit behind Betelgeuse's sudden dimming. This event, let me tell you, is colossal, and it's catapulted Betelgeuse right into the spotlight of astronomy. Picture this. The star flung out roughly 400 billion times the usual mass expelled during a run-of-the-mill coronal mass ejection. That's a staggering amount. To put it into perspective, we're talking about material weighing several times more than the moon. That's no small beans, my friend. Now, let's ponder the implications of such a monumental explosion on our understanding of Betelgeuse and supernovas in general. Brace yourself because it's a game changer. This event throws a cosmic curveball at our previous ideas about how stars like Betelgeuse evolve and eventually explode into supernovas. It's like rewriting the playbook on stellar drama. This explosion doesn't just make waves, it sends shockwaves through the very fabric of our understanding of the universe. Here's the scoop. Red supergiants like Betelgeuse typically shed their outer layers gradually before they go out with a bang in a supernova finale. But hold on to your hats, because the sheer magnitude of this recent mass ejection throws a curveball at that notion. It hints at a more chaotic and, dare I say, unpredictable end for these colossal stars. Could Betelgeuse be gearing up for its grand finale, a supernova explosion, much sooner than we thought? Well, buckle up, because new studies are shaking things up, suggesting it might happen sooner rather than later, perhaps within a few decades, give or take. Now let's add another piece to the Betelgeuse puzzle. The concept of a bow shock. Imagine this mammoth star hurtling through space at a mind-boggling speed of around 67,000 miles per hour compared to the surrounding interstellar material. It's like watching a giant ship plow through water, creating a wave at its bow. In Betelgeuse's case, it creates a cosmic bow shock, a cosmic ripple that's a testament to the star's unstoppable journey through the cosmos. Ah, behold the wonder of the cosmos. Picture this, Betelgeuse's outer layers mingling with the cosmic dance of gases and dust nestled between the stars, creating a mesmerizing bow shock. It's like watching the star itself waltz with its cosmic surroundings, showcasing its vibrant personality and its intricate interplay with the vastness of space. This celestial spectacle not only offers a glimpse into Betelgeuse's current state, but also serves as a window into the dynamic evolution of stars and the intricate dance of mass loss over time. But let's not forget to rewind the cosmic clock and delve into Betelgeuse's past escapades. Observations have revealed that post-ejection, Betelgeuse's surface experienced a cool down and a decrease in density. This tells us that the star remains in a state of flux even years later, keeping us on our toes with its cosmic unpredictability. Hydrodynamic models shed light on the connection between the star's convulsive activities, the mass expulsion event, and the subsequent change in pulsation patterns. It's a cosmic mystery that keeps us pondering what secrets lie within Betelgeuse and how might these cosmic fluctuations shape its destiny in the days to come. Betelgeuse is shedding its mass at a rate higher than many stars, hints at a complex interplay of internal forces. This hefty loss, partly due to forced pulsations, is hampered by continual energy dissipation through shock heating and mass expulsion. These dynamics paint Betelgeuse's life as a turbulent, unpredictable journey, challenging existing stellar evolution models. Given these dramatic shifts, speculation arises. Could Betelgeuse be nearing its supernova phase? 
This question looms large in astronomical circles. Though the exact timing remains elusive, recent mass ejections have sparked renewed speculation about its imminent fate. Theories now scramble to decipher the implications of this significant matter loss for the star's prognosis and future trajectory. While Betelgeuse captures astronomers' attention, another celestial spectacle, the supernova SN2023 EXF, offers intriguing comparisons. This stellar spectacle unfolded in Messier 101, famously dubbed the Pinwheel Galaxy, a mere 21 million light-years away. SN2023 EXF, discovered in May 2023, isn't your run-of-the-mill supernova. It's a rare close-up of a star's demise, providing scientists with a front-row seat to cosmic fireworks. The discovery of SN2023 EXF was akin to a cosmic jackpot. Koichi Itagaki, a renowned amateur astronomer celebrated for his supernova findings, spotted this swiftly brightening spot on Messier 101's fringes using a modest 0.35-meter telescope. As news of his discovery spread, the global astronomy community sprang into action. From ground-based observatories to the orbiting Hubble Space Telescope, telescopes worldwide pivoted to witness this newfound supernova's breathtaking spectacle. In the race to track SN2023XF's light patterns, scientists gained vital insights into the explosion and its surroundings. Over the tumultuous month following its discovery, SN2023XF's behavior was meticulously logged. Remarkably, in just five days, the supernova transitioned from a faint glow to a dazzling brilliance, followed by a more gradual fading, losing about 0.03 magnitudes in brightness each day. A detailed spectral analysis unveiled a plethora of bright emission lines indicative of intense interactions between the burgeoning supernova shockwave and the enveloping gas. This wasn't merely a star's demise, it was a grand spectacle of a massive star buckling under its own gravitational pull as its nuclear fuel dwindled, culminating in a breathtaking core collapse supernova. What truly piqued interest was the dense shell of gas encasing SN2023XF. This barrier made it arduous for the shockwave to break free from the star's core. Two theories emerged to explain this dense material. Either a vigorous, sustained stellar wind had been steadily blowing matter away prior to the explosion, or sporadic eruptions had hurled material into space. Regardless, the star is estimated to have shed up to a solar mass of matter in its final one to two years, painting a picture of a tumultuous, far from peaceful finale. The prime objective of research revolves around pinpointing the parent star of SN2023 EXF. Through a blend of methods and statistical analyses, scientists have honed in on a probable culprit, a red supergiant. Delving into the specifics of SN2023XF's explosion, such as its progenitor's characteristics and the mechanisms culminating in its dramatic demise, astronomers strive to refine their understanding of stellar formation and supernova dynamics. These fresh insights not only shed light on the current state of Betelgeuse, but also offer valuable clues on its potential supernova fate. They equip us with a sharper grasp of the telltale signs to watch for and a deeper comprehension of the intricate behaviors exhibited by this colossal red giant. The burning question on everyone's mind, when will Betelgeuse finally go supernova? Researchers from Tohoku University propose that Betelgeuse might currently be in the carbon burning phase, a precursor to stellar death. Hideyuki Sayo, leading this investigation, suggests that the star's core could collapse within a few decades after exhausting its carbon fuel. Conversely, scientists at Hungary's Konkoli Observatory argue that Betelgeuse is still in the earlier stages of helium burning. Opinions may differ, but the general consensus leans towards Betelgeuse being the next supernova spectacle in the Milky Way, 
However, don't hold your breath just yet. This cosmic event might not grace our skies for another 100,000 years. Throughout history, supernovas have been our cosmic beacons, illuminating the mysteries of stellar demise. The saga began in 185 CE with the first recorded supernova, a brilliant star vanishing from the heavens after an eight-month spectacle. Since then, a celestial gallery of important supernovas has graced our skies. Take SN 1054, for instance, whose explosive display birthed the Crab Nebula and dazzled observers for an astounding 23 days, even visible during daylight. Then there's the captivating SN 1604, meticulously studied by Johannes Kepler, marking the most recent Milky Way supernova. Fast forward to the modern era, where supernova 1987A burst onto the scene in the Large Magellanic Cloud, captivating astronomers within hours of its light reaching Earth. This cosmic marvel not only marked the first supernova observed through neutrino radiation, but also stood as a beacon across the electromagnetic spectrum. These stellar spectacles have been invaluable in crafting precise models of supernova behavior and unraveling their role in the grand tapestry of star formation. Betelgeuse is on the brink of a core collapse supernova, an explosive finale that occurs when massive stars deplete their nuclear fuel and succumb to their own gravitational pull. These cataclysmic events rank among the most potent and disruptive in the universe. In a matter of seconds, Betelgeuse will unleash an energy outburst equivalent to our sun's entire lifetime output, spanning billions of years. The majority of this energy will manifest as electromagnetic radiation, spanning the spectrum from X-rays to gamma rays and even visible light. This cosmic spectacle promises to captivate and dazzle observers worldwide, offering a breathtaking display of nature's power. But amidst the awe, the Earth may also experience some tangible effects, from heightened levels of radiation to potential disruptions in our planet's magnetic field. As we witness this celestial drama unfold, we're reminded of the immense forces at play in the cosmos and our place within its grand tapestry. The night sky ablaze with the brilliance of a Betelgeuse supernova, a spectacle visible to us instantaneously. This cosmic explosion would outshine the moon for a fleeting moment, perhaps even gracing daylight hours with its luminosity. Picture gazing upward during the day, greeted by the sight of a second, more radiant sun, lingering in the heavens for weeks, maybe even months. For astronomers and stargazers alike, such an event would inspire awe and wonder beyond measure. Yet beyond its captivating display, the true significance of a Betelgeuse supernova lies in the profound scientific inquiries it provokes. These stellar eruptions, particularly those stemming from colossal stars like Betelgeuse, serve as cosmic laboratories, unveiling the fundamental workings of our universe. Witnessing a Betelgeuse supernova up close offers a rare glimpse into the twilight moments of a star's existence. When massive stars like Betelgeuse explode, they scatter heavy elements such as iron forged within their cores into the cosmos. This cosmic dispersal seeds the universe with the essential building blocks of planets, stars and ultimately life itself. Thus, a Betelgeuse supernova not only enriches our understanding of stellar evolution, but also illuminates the cosmic processes that shape our existence. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more cosmic content. Stay tuned for future updates and exciting discoveries in the vast expanse of the universe.